हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू के के यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी वीडियोस अ प्लेटफॉर्म वेयर यू विल गेट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इन्फॉर्मेटिव फैक्ट्स अबाउट ह्यूमन एनाटॉमी एंड फिजियोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम इज लोकेटेड इन द पेल्विस रीजन इट इंक्लूड्स अ पेयर ऑफ टेस्टिस अलॉन्ग विथ एसेसरी डक्ट्स एसेसरी ग्लैंड्स and the external genitalia now let's talk about testis from this image you will come to know the location of testis it is mesodermal in origin and are formed in lower abdominal cavity they are located in a pouch called scrotum during early fetal life the testis develop in abdominal cavity and later they descend into the scrotal sac through a passage called inguinal canal each testis is oval in shape 4 to 5 cm long 2 to 3 cm wide and 3 cm thick the scrotum helps in maintaining the low temperature of the testis 2 to 2.5 degree celsius lower than the body temperature necessary for spermatogenesis that is formation of sperms the accessory ducts includes reti testis vasa efferentia epididymis vas deferens ejaculatory duct and urethra all the seminiferous tubules of the testis at the posterior surface form a network of tubules called reti testis 10 to 20 fine tubules arising from reti testis are vasa efferentia they carry the sperms from the testis and open into the epididymis it is a long and highly coiled tube which is differentiated into an upper caput middle corpus and lower cauda epididymis the sperms undergo maturation in epididymis posteriorly it leads into the vas deferens which travels up to the abdominal cavity and loops over the ureter to open into the urethra before doing so it joins the duct of seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct the ejaculatory duct passes through the prostate gland and opens into the urethra the urethra provides a common passage for the urine and semen and hence is also called urinogenital duct in males the urethra is long and extends through the penis it opens to the outside by an opening called the urethral mitis or urethral orifice all the accessory ducts except urethra are present in pairs the male accessory glands are seminal vesicles prostate gland and cowper's gland also called as bulbo urethral gland seminal vesicle is a pair of glands lying on the posterior side of urinary bladder it secretes an alkaline seminal fluid which contains fructose fibrinogen and prostaglandins fructose provide energy for sperm movement while fibrinogen coagulates the semen into a bolus for quick propulsion in the vagina the prostaglandins stimulate reverse peristalsis in vagina and uterus aiding faster movement of sperms towards the egg in the female body it contributes about 60% of the total volume of the semen prostate gland it is a large and single gland made up of 20 to 30 lobes and is located underneath the urinary bladder it surrounds the urethra and releases a milky white and slightly acidic prostatic fluid 
it contains citric acid acid phosphatases and various other enzymes the acid phosphatase protects the sperms from the acidic environment of vagina it forms about 30% of volume of semen now let's talk about cowper's gland also called as bulbo urethral gland it is a small pea sized and paired gland situated on either side of urethra these glands secrete an alkaline viscous mucus like fluid which acts as a lubricant during copulation external genitalia of male reproductive system includes penis and the scrotum the penis is the male copulatory organ it is cylindrical and muscular with three bundles of erectile tissue a pair of posterior lateral tissue called corpora cavernosa and a median corpus spongiosum the swollen tip of the penis is called glans penis it is covered by loose fold of skin called foreskin or prepuce now let's talk about scrotum it is a loose pouch of pigmented skin lying behind the penis and is divided into a right and left scrotal sac by a septum of tunica deltoides made of smooth muscle fibers the testes remain suspended in scrotum by a spermatic cord the cremaster and deltoides muscle of scrotum help in drawing testes close or away from the body this helps in maintaining the temperature of the testes 2 to 30 degrees celsius lower than the normal body temperature necessary for spermatogenesis that is the formation of sperms hope you will find this video informative and interesting if you like this video then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon do like comment and share this video for more update join the forum and group visit my facebook page for more information i have provided the link in description below Have a happy learning